Welcome back to The One Minute Barber. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you a stretched out fade and I'm gonna be cutting the top with scissors and creating what I would call deconstructed bangs or a deconstructed fringe. So there's a lot of technique in this video. I'm gonna be slicing and dicing. Let's get on with it right away. So the hair's, the hair's actually very long just now. So I'm gonna try and get this under control initially just by using a number three so that I can then see what I'm working with. So what I'm thinking here is that I'm gonna take this up with the number three, just to the parietal ridge and then glide off, but this might be around about my final length here. I may take it shorter, but initially I'll just go up and try and remove the bulk without going any shorter than this. Okay, so I've taken the bulk off of this side here and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put in my first bald line and I'm gonna keep it really low. The reason for that is that on dark hair, the more that you stretch a fade out, the better it's gonna look. Let's put that low line in first. I'm gonna use my Andis D8 trimmer because it has deep teeth and it can accommodate quite a lot of hair in one bite. I'm gonna dip down a little towards the back. Right down like this. And then I'll just do the same thing on this side. Now obviously this is in a point and we don't want that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a, a line down the bottom here, just below the occipital bone here. And then round these corners over. Now it's time to just remove all of that. So my Andis T outliner has a very fine blade. I'm just gonna go over that again and just clean it up to make it really short and nice and easy for the foil shaver to go over. Now I'm gonna foil shave that whole area. So again with this line here, I'm gonna move this about a half centimeter higher and I'm gonna use my Andis T outliner again. The T outliner is the next level up from just skin. So this will make it easier for us to blend into longer stubble as we move up. Now that I've made that line, I'm gonna go in now with my wall senior, just with a closed blade and I'm gonna go slightly higher again just following that same line along. I'm just gonna move my lever now to the halfway position. So that's not fully open, it's just somewhere in the middle and I'm gonna go up a little bit higher. This is really the hardest part, is just making this graduation of no hair into slightly longer and longer stubble. Now I'm gonna push the lever right open and I'm gonna go up just slightly higher again. So my fade's starting to take shape now. I'm getting into longer and longer stubble. You can see there's a slight line here and I'm gonna show you how to deal with that later in the video. But for now, I can now move on to my number one guard and start moving a little bit higher.
Sometimes you want to work across your section with the clipper, but when you're doing that, make sure that one side is lifted away from the head and you're only using the corner of the blade, like this. So I have a little dark area here. This is where the bones connect in the head and I'm gonna use a one and a half there and just go slightly higher. It's starting to progress here, but I'm gonna put on my half guard and just fine tune it a little bit. There's a little area here which is kind of dark. I'm gonna use the corner of the half guard and this area here. Now this area where the foil shaver meets the clipper, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dab down on that with the foil shaver and that will soften that line a little bit. At the back here, we've got the, uh, the bald line and then I've just come up with the T outliner a little bit higher. Now I'm gonna switch to my zero and just go a little bit higher. Now switch to the quarter. And finally a half, the fully open blade. Now an important piece of information here is I've taken that bang on the occipital bone so it's actually gained some length by the time it's got to the occipital bone there. That's gonna make it so much easier for me when I come to blend this into the longer hair. If you go beyond the occipital bone, it means you're gonna to have to take the crown a lot tighter. So number one guard now and a little bit higher again. So you can see the shape that I'm trying to create here. I'm trying to go straight up here and make a nice shape coming off the occipital bone like that. I don't want to go over the top onto the crown. And again, that dab down technique with the foil shaver just around this bottom line here where I was with the T outliner. Right, I'm gonna cut the top, and it's a good idea to decide upon the shape of the top. Like, if you were looking at the side of your client and they had their hair styled, how would you imagine the hair to sit? So, I'm gonna show you a way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a section all the way from the back to the front, and we'll lift it up, and then, like, you can make it square, you can make it rounded there, you can make it short at the front, and that's gonna dictate the overall style of your haircut. So I reckon I need for styling probably about that much hair and I can take it a little bit shorter on the crown because I want a little bit of lift on the crown. So
This section at the front here where the bangs are, um, I'm gonna leave that a little bit longer because I'm gonna do something really cool with that. I'm gonna deconstruct that area and make it really choppy. It's, it's a technique that's quite unusual, you may not have seen before, but um, I'm sure you're gonna love it. So now that I have that shape, I can actually take sections across the way and I can see the short hair and I'll be able to cut to that. That'll be my guide as I work my way forwards. So I take a section there with my comb, pick that up. I can see some of the short hair in the middle and I'm gonna just trim that away. So you can see the short hair and I'll just keep working my way forward, following that guideline. Take another section, pick it up, work my way forwards. And as I get to the front, again, I'm just gonna over direct, pull it back a little bit and keep that length on there. Now I'm gonna work down this side. So if I comb all that hair forwards, I can see that this hair here hasn't been cut. If I lift that up, there's gonna be really long hair there. Now what I want to do is I wanna keep it kind of square, like a square shape. So I'm gonna lift my fingers up a little at this side. the fingers up a little. This will mean that it's kind of square across the top here. And I'll do the same down this side as well. Pick my section up but lift the fingers up a little bit. I've cut this area in the middle of the top with the scissors, but we've got all this around the edges to blend in and we've got the fringe to do. So what we're gonna do is simply lift this up and tilt out so you can take what I would call a corner off and work your way around the whole area in a horseshoe fashion. I'm gonna do this side and then I'll do the other side and then the back, but for you, just work your way around in a horseshoe fashion. As you get to the occipital bone area, the crown, just do the same thing. Lift out. So a deconstructed fringe, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pull just a small amount of the fringe out mm -hmm. underneath. So this is just this is just going to be a small part of the fringe here. Okay. And what we're going to do is just really cut this quite choppy by just chipping in. a different angle here and this is going to lie underneath our eventual fringe and it's going to add so much texture to the finished look so 
So I've cut this very random looking fringe, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pull all this hair over the top now. And you can no longer really see it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this long stuff and I'm gonna cut it slightly longer than the short fringe I created underneath. And I'm just chipping in because I want texture. And just for good measure, I'm gonna slice down a little bit as well. Let's slice this fringe. Just slice little sections. Be careful not to close the scissor blade. Just slice up above it a little bit. Just for some more texture. A little bit there. Okay. I'm gonna dry this off now, but these deconstructed bangs, I'm quite excited about. I can't wait to see how that looks. And then I'm gonna just clip it over comb to blend it in. I'm just gonna style this now with some Hair Bond Super. Thank you for making it to the end of this tutorial. It's quite a long one. I hope you like that little technique with the bangs when it was all kind of textured. I like doing stuff like that. It's quite creative. I don't know about you. Tell me in the comments below what you thought. How do you wear your bangs yourself? Or do you prefer a more commercial finish? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, so if you want to see some more from me, hit subscribe down below. I hope you've enjoyed the video and until next time, good luck with your fading and your choppy fringes. <laughs>